Welcome to this course on transition metal organometrics in catalysis and biology. We have been uh, discussing uh, olefin polymerization uh, in the last few lectures and in this regard uh, in the previous lecture we ha have looked at one uh, big discovery uh, in the field of olefin polymerization which is uh, ziegler natta catalysis and in that respect we have seen uh, uh, the sequence of events starting from off bow reaction, uh, nickel, the nickel effect that led to the initial discovery of uh, ziegler natta catalysis and uh, subsequently we have also looked into uh, these uh, contributions uh, uh, made by uh, uh, Carl Ziegler uh, with regard to the ziegler natta catalysis which is uh, mainly centered around uh, polymerization of ethylene. So, in today's lecture we are going to go further and look into uh, uh, the contributions of uh, natta, uh, 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 Julio natta with regard to the ziegler natta catalysis which is centered around, uh, centered around propylene. In this, uh, we had observed so Ziegler's work is on ethylene to polyethylene. HDP molar masses 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 5 Dalton and the catalyst is titanium tetrachloride diethyl aluminum chloride at 25 degrees centigrade and 1 bar pressure that gives rise uh, to this polyethylene. Now, the main limitation uh, and the active species for this is surface alkylated uh, beta uh, TiCl3 catalyst. Now, this had been uh, the Ziegler's uh, uh, contribution in the Ziegler natta catalysis and he is the first one uh, to have uh, identified uh, uh, this uh, polymerization proce procedure of ethylene to give polyethylene of very high uh, molecular weight and that to under ambient condition uh, using uh, uh, titanium tetrachloride and diethyl aluminum chloride at 1 bar uh, pressure and the active uh, species uh, uh, is supposed to be surface alkylated beta titanium 3 a, a catalyst which is generated from the reaction of TiCl4 and diethyl aluminum chloride. The one of the uh, major limitation of this uh, Ziegler's method uh, uh, is that uh, they had very broad distribution of molecular weight and their polydispersity index are very high PDI or polydispersity index uh, uh, is high. Uh, so, uh, uh, the polymers uh, uh, were of a broad range of distribution uh, of chain length. Now, uh, and then uh, the emphasis became on developing single site catalyst which will have uniform active species and as a result one can get narrow uh, uh, distribution of uh, uh, molecular weight and those are called uh, uh, low PDI uh, uh, polymers. Uh, so, uh, this had been uh, the work of uh, Ziegner, uh, Ziegler. Now, the Nata
Nata's contribution had been in Poly, uh, polyethylene to uh, polypropylene using uh, these uh, uh, the uh, the catalyst so uh, and uh, 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 yeah, usually uh, uh, the load low density polypropylene were obtained by uh, radical method other than this other methods like radical polymerization gives low molecular weight oils. And uh, that uh, uh, so with respect to uh, this, this uh, uh, Ziegler Nata uh, polymerization uh, uh, provided access to uh, uh, this polypropylene of high molecular weight. Uh, and uh, 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 and of different uh, uh, properties in terms of hardness, softness, uh, uh, and uh, uh, so on and so forth. The another important uh, thing uh, uh, which uh, uh, is uh, which comes into play uh, is the orientation of this methyl group in the uh, propylene polymer, and which is absent uh, in case of the uh, ethylene. Uh, 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 polymerization to polyethylene. So, uh, there are different possibilities in which uh, the methyl group uh, can orient with respect to each other uh, that is one important thing and based on that the polymer properties of polypropylene uh, 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 varies depending on how this uh, methyl group gets stacked up. So, there are a classification of polyethylene uh, polypropylene polymer uh, based on the arrangement of the methyl group and we are going to be looking at uh, these uh, uh, different classification. The next thing which comes into play is uh, that how different classes of polymers are produced using this titanium uh, uh, catalyst. So, how does, uh, how does the catalyst site uh, work uh, to get uh, these different kind of uh, polypropylenes as uh, 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 shown over here. So, now we are going to uh, uh, talk about uh, the various type of polypropylene uh, classes of polypropylene uh, polymers that exist and this is termed as Now, uh, these uh, uh, the properties of polypropylene it, uh, 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 dependent on uh, density, hardness, uh, ducti ductility as well as uh, the uh, tacticity. So, uh, the various types of uh, you know, polypropylene polymers uh, that are, uh, uh, can be present uh, depending on the methyl branching is shown below. The first one is the arrangement like this. Where all the uh, methyl groups are pointed towards one direction. These are called isotactic polymer. And all the carbon atoms have same configuration. And this is called IPP. The next The next has uh, 
arrangements of this type So, this is called uh, syndiotactic and uh, this is called uh, this has regular alteration of alternation of uh, configuration. So, if uh, one methyl is coming up, the other methyl is going down and then uh, the other is coming up and the other is going down. So, this kind of arrangement is called syndiotactic, whereas in the first one it was isotactic where all the um, uh, uh, thing was coming up. So, this is called syndiotactic polypeparin or SPP. The third one has a uh, three a uh, uh, region where some of them are coming up uh, together and the others are going down. So, these are called stereo block. And alteration alternation of isotactic C 4 to C 10 blocks, C 100 with different configuration. And these are called STPP. The fourth one are So, this is called hemi isotactic uh, st uh, stereo centers. One, three, five, seven are isotactic and two, four, six, eight are atactic, and uh, this is called HIPP hemi isotactic.
and the fifth one This is called atactic irregular statistical statistical change in configuration. and this is called APP, atactic. Now, all of these uh, so many varieties in, in terms of uh, um, uh, uh, ethylene, polyethylene we had only three varieties LDP, LLDP, HDP and in terms of polypropylene uh, apart from the molecular heat we have uh, another uh, variety based on uh, the stereo regularity of this methyl group. Uh, so, we have uh, the first one which is isotactic where all the methyl uh, groups are in the same direction uh, the followed by the syndiotactic uh, when the all the methyl groups are in alternate arrangement. Then we have stereo block uh, uh, poly uh, polypropylene where there is a blocks of, uh, uh, of the same uh, orient same side oriented methyl groups followed by another block of different uh, uh, side oriented methyl group. Then we have uh, uh, a hemi isotactic in which uh, half of the centers are isotactic that, that means they occur in a regular arrangement uh, towards one side and the other half uh, altern uh, alternating other half is atactic that means they can uh, appear in any direction followed by the last one which is a completely irregular uh, uh, statistical change in configuration which is called atactic poly polypropylene. So, uh, uh, this uh, ca configuration characterization this has been what uh, was uh, uh, capitalized by uh, NATA in explaining uh, in uh, putting forth the polypropylene polymerization. So, this stereo, uh, stereo a chemical feature of uh, this polypropylene polymer is what uh, is seen as Nata's contribution in this whole a Ziegler Nata discovery. Hence, uh, because owing to the structure stereoisomers of polypropylene differ. In physical properties, and in their applications, uh, for example. The, uh, their structure uh, structure relationships are also different. For example, isotactic and syndiotactic polypropylenes are usually crystalline. are usually crystalline uh, owing to their helical structure whereas uh, 
atactic polypropylene. is amorphous. Uh, so, uh, now uh, this is a kind of a very interesting uh, thing that uh, uh, how come uh, the important question over here is why uh, the polypropylene uh, uh, produced uh, by uh, ziegler uh, uh, process is isotactic. Now, the, the statistically it can form any of the five uh, thing. So, the important question which arises at this juncture is why the polypropylene produced by Ziegler not a process is isotactic. The answer uh, uh, is lies in the mechanism and what is important uh, is that a uh, free a, a coordination site cis to titanium carbon bond is crucial. So, that uh, uh, so there is there has to be a cis a site uh, which is crucial uh, for uh, uh, achieving uh, crucible to uh, cis size uh, uh, to be present uh, to titanium uh, chlorine bond and which is uh, crucial uh, to uh, the formation of this. So, there is a, a free coordination size uh, cis uh, to uh, titanium is important uh, for uh, uh, producing this isotactic uh, polymer. So, uh, now, uh, with this uh, let me just uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, take a, a look at how this polymerization proceeds. Now, this has a CH2, CH, CH3, this is the polymer chain and to uh, this the propylene comes CH, CH3 and binds and this is the vacant site and then it goes through this four member transition state CH2 C H 2 C H C H 3 C H C H 3. So, it goes through a four membered uh, transition state to give the product C L CH2, CH, CH3, 
CH2, CH2, CH3, P and now, so first uh, uh, there was a vacant site over here uh, where the ethylene added. Now there is a vacant site over here where another uh, molecule of ethylene comes and sits. And then again uh, the subsequent insertion of uh, this into the polymer chain happens. The first is insertion of this into this uh, uh, and then uh, the insertion of this. So, first uh, this is first insertion and then second insertion and then uh, uh, this proceeds further. Whereas, uh, uh, the termination this is propagation followed by termination which happens CH2 CH CH3 polymer, this is alpha, beta, and this uh, gives elimination beta hydride elimination to give titanium chloride, chloride, chloride and hydride along with CH3, CH2, P where P is growing polymer chain. And this whole uh, mechanism uh, is uh, called as the Arlman Cauchy mechanism. So, uh, with this, uh, uh, we 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 come uh, uh, to uh, end of discussion of today's class. And what uh, what we see is. Uh, what we have discussed today in the class is uh, uh, that uh, we have focused on Nata's contribution in polyethylene. We have also looked and, uh, at the different classification of polyethylene that exist based on the orientation of the methyl branches and also we have looked uh, uh, into the question as to why uh, uh, this uh, Ziegler-Nata uh, process uh, gives isotactic very ordered. Uh, uh, polyethylene uh, and uh, the answer to that lies in the fact that there has to be a cis uh, vacant site uh, uh, so vacant site cis to the uh, titanium car uh, carbon bond uh, which will have the polymer chain where this propylene will come and insert and because of the presence of the cis site uh, that uh, the catalyst is uh, 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 able to dis uh, distinguish between the uh, uh, approach uh, 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 the, uh, the facial two face, uh, fa faces of the propane that approach and uh, selectively a, a, a make a, um, isotactic uh, polymer. So, more uh, on this uh, stereo regular uh, polymerization of uh, ziegler nata uh, uh, process uh, for uh, poly uh, for propylene as we meet next. Uh, with this, uh, I would like to once again thank you for being in the class and we are going to uh, be uh, looking uh, at uh, this uh, ziegler nata polymerization in bit more detail with uh, taking some more uh, uh, complex uh, and relevant examples with regard to this uh, uh, the development of this catalyst as we proceed with the discussion in the next class. Till then, goodbye and thank you. Thank you.